Hey guys, it's Mike McFly. Uh, we're going to do an updated version of my 88 cent soul plates. This time it's going to be for the USD Aon, which is uh, the best skate of all time, I think. But it does slide pretty slow on the soul grinds. So we're um, going to make our 88 cent soul plates out of the Walmart cutting board. I'm going to show you how to do it. So you're going to have to pay, I think, like $75 for those slicks. <laughs> uh, let's make it cost under $5. Check it out. Okay, here is our Walmart cutting board. I placed it on the sole area of my USD Aon. Traced out a nice little shape. Overlaps a little bit so I have a bigger sole area. Now we're going, I uh, traced it on one side. Then I, uh, you know, it's the, the cutting board see-through so I traced it on the back. And in the past, I've used a Dremel. This time, I'm gonna use this hand saw here and see how far I get. Okay, I've made the first rough cut. Um, you know, this took me 30 minutes solid with the hacksaw and a box cutter. Um, I would definitely recommend using the Dremel. I just don't wanna pull it out tonight, so I'm using the hand saw, but uh, make sure to use use a Dremel. <laughs> uh, let's uh, see how far I get. And uh, I'll probably end up finishing it with a Dremel. Okay, well this took me almost two hours. <laughs> but uh did it by hand. You know, I was just watching a movie. Probably would have took ten minutes with a Dremel. But anyway, uh, you know, I, like I said, I didn't want to break out the Dremel tonight. So this is our result. Now... I'm going to need to bring out my drill and drill holes. I'm probably going to put one, two, three holes through the skate, uh, through the sole plate and through the skate. And we'll have to countersink the screws so they don't stick out. Uh, let's see how that turns out. Okay, guys, this is our final form for our sole plates. It's the next day. Um, you know, I finished trimming them down with my handsaw. And then I worked the groove on the concrete um, curb outside of my house, made it a little smoother. Uh, now, instead of drilling holes through these and through the skates and trying to find super long hardware and trying to countersink screws into this thin plastic, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it with Gorilla Tough and Clear mounting tape. Holds up to 15 pounds. Now, uh, hear me out, guys. Um, this stuff is um, pretty thin. It's like one millimeter thin. Uh, and if, you know, whenever you're, you're doing sole grinds, there's no pressure pulling, trying to pull the, the sole off of your skate. Uh, it's actually pushing the tape onto the skate even harder and, and setting it better. Uh, so I think this is going to work for us. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol that I have right here and take cotton balls and I'm going to clean the surface of the cutting board and then we're going to take our Aons and we are going to uh, clean off all the excess wax and stuff and we're going to start sticking some Gorilla Tape down the sole and see how it works. Okay, so I actually used a little bit of Zippo lighter fluid. Uh, also to get more of the wax off uh, Don't worry. That's not going to affect the plastic uh, Now what we're going to do is We're going to put two layers of Gorilla Tape in this little one millimeter indention here and then one layer on the on the actual sole plate portion here and uh, We're going to pretty much cover from here all the way to here with our Gorilla Tape and then we're going to stick our sole plate down one more thing I wanted to reiterate to you guys is you have to clean the sole surface off perfectly. There can't be any dust, any wax, any dirt, any contaminants, or else you know it's going to affect how the tape sticks. Okay, guys, so we have one layer of Gorilla Tape here, or one layer in the middle, or, or sorry, uh, we put down one layer in the middle, then we put one overlapping layer over top of everything. So two layers thick in the middle, 
one layer thick right here. If you can see that. And uh, this stuff's pretty easy to work with. Uh, you know, cut it with a cheap pair of scissors and an X-Acto knife, uh, but the X-Acto knife isn't even really required. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the backing off and we're going to stick our sole plate down. Well, I can't say that it actually worked yet, but dang, so far so good. Stuff pretty strong. I messed up. Should have done a little um, two layer strip right there in the front. Uh, but hopefully that won't cause me any problems. I'm going to go put this skate on and stand on my rail for a minute or two just to let everything set. But, I mean, as you can see here, I'm holding it up by the sole plate with the Gorilla Tape. So, um, you know, we won't know until I actually test these out. And uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, so you can get some updates and see me skating these over the next couple weeks. And I'll be uh, truthful, you know, whether or not they stay on or not. So uh, let me go set this uh, by putting body weight on it and go ahead and work on the other one. Okay, so it's almost 2 a.m. So I can only do a couple grinds, but I'm just gonna show you here. No bolt holes in the bottom. Got our Gorilla Glue, uh, Gorilla Glue tape sole plates on here. I'm gonna wax the rail and uh, you're gonna see an uncut clip that's about 30 seconds long of me doing a few different grinds. Okay, here we go guys. I had a great first impression of the uh, cutting board Gorilla Tape uh, sole plates. Uh, like I said, we spent six forty nine on the Gorilla Tape, eighty eight cents on the cutting board, and uh, probably only about twenty minutes of your time if you use a Dremel. Uh, stay tuned to the channel to see how long these sole plates actually stay on my skates. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.